Hi, welcome to your weekly angel card reading for Beacons of Angel Light. This is for your week beginning September the 4th, 2017. Um, yeah, so this week we have a spectacular full moon in Pisces. Um, so what's going to happen in this particular week and in weeks to come is a beautiful culmination of the things that we were manifesting way back in February because in February if you even go back and watch some of my videos or perhaps you some of you guys have been watching me for like a year now um, so in February of 2017 we actually had a, a solar eclipse in Pisces where we were given the opportunity to manifest our truest desires. So whatever it was that you had your mind focused on in February of this year is going to come full circle now um, in September, October, November, December. Um, whereas the clarity that we were lacking in the month of August, it's now being bestowed upon us in the coming months, starting with this full moon in Pisces also. Mercury has gone direct. Yay! It's the planet of communication. So if you are looking into making investments, buying a house, moving home, um, relocating jobs, starting a new relationship, making a big purchase of any kind, taking a trip anywhere, um, anything new, now is a great time to do that. Signing contracts because Mercury has gone full speed direct way ahead in the caucus race in terms of uh, the planetary alignment and where planet Earth is. Um, so then what else is going on? It's just a really exciting week, guys. So I do invite you all for the 6th, even though I may have gotten my days wrong as far as like what day <laughs> this week starts, I know for fact the full moon is going to be the 6th. So on the 6th, I invite you all to take out your crystals, get outside and meditate beneath the moon. It's going to be out all night, so you don't even have to adhere to any particular schedule. Just five minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever you can spare will help you so much in your own your own journey, your own intuition. Um, so for this week's reading, I'm going to be using um, Dorian Virtue and Raleigh Valentine's Angel Tarot Cards. Um, so... Oh yeah, and we have Jupiter and Libra, which I happen to be a Libra. Um, Jupiter and Libra is... Jupiter and Libra means that I mean, Libra is the social butterfly among the zodiac, right? Um, and Jupiter is like big money. So it's like, who are you making contacts with? You're, you're like, not only are you making contacts, you're like big time um, networking. And it's for uh, not just for, you know, personal relationships, but also lucrative business relationships at this time. Um, Alright, so let's go with the Guardian Angels. Mm. They gave me two cards in one shot. Yeah, and sorry about having missed last week's reading, guys. I did want to talk about that. It was the first week back to school and it was also that post-solar eclipse energy. It was really intense and abrasive even. Lots of people are still feeling um, in disharmony. So there's a lot of external um, things going on and distractions. Stay focused. Um, all right, so let's see what we got. We got the Knight of Earth. This is like us right now, loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind, and this is why I was saying Mercury has gone direct. It's time to buckle down and get things done and accomplished. Sign that contract, start that business, um, put out that patent, write the book, you know, start the painting, go for the job interview, get out of your living situation and find yourself a new living situation. 
go for the relationship. Yes, go out on that date. All that stuff. It's time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. Also, there could be an event where your guardian angel may have to step in and really help you out. And you might not recognize it as divine at the time, but I assure you there is some divine intervention in this week. Um, then we have the Queen of Earth. So this is something that exists in us all. She's very nurturing. She's very powerful and creative. And there's someone in our sphere that needs that nurturing aspect that we offer to everyone else, but we're neglecting to offer it to that one person that needs it the most. Um, so make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach to deal with the challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Um, Yeah, I just want to make sure I keep my cards. Okay, then these are still guardian angel messages. We got the king of water. And, I mean, the king of water, obviously his emotions run really deep. He's trustworthy. He's well-respected, compassionate, uh, cultured. Um, but this is about really opening your heart and your mind to the perception and the possibilities of others. It doesn't only have to be the way that we think is correct or that you think or that I think is correct because we were all bestowed with our perception and it is divinely bestowed on us. So it's a shared fabric of super consciousness that we all contribute to. So be open-minded. Um, also, this is a call for charity work. So everybody go back to doing your charity work, however it is that you give. Sometimes you don't have to give finances. Sometimes what you have is time. Sometimes what you have is good words. Sometimes what you have, in my case, oftentimes it's a smile. So be charitable and go back to doing charity work. Um, it's funny that I'm talking about going back to, uh, because Archangel Sandalfin comes up for this particular week and he's saying that we need to go back to hanging out with the people that share our traditional viewpoints that have the same you know the same values moral uh, scope spectrum if you will that we have or at least share a lot more of it in common than the people that we've been surrounding ourselves with and exposing our consciousness to um, It, it like makes me think of spontaneity. I don't script myself. I was trying to. I was trying to write notes about the planetary alignment, da 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 but I really can't because I can't focus. And um, so within that, about the spontaneity, you have to be aware of who you're including because the spontaneity of who you surround yourself with will also create the spontaneity of what thoughts you are thinking. There's like maybe only X amount of thoughts that we think on a regular basis every single day. Now, if we're going to change our three-dimensional existence, right, we also have to change the way that we perceive it, the way that we digest it, the way that we think about it. And then our thought will translate into action or word and manifest into physicality from the ethers, I guess. So Archangel Sandalfin wants us to surround ourselves with like-minded people and perhaps seek spiritual mentors or someone who can offer um, some type of personal guidance. Um, then we got Archangel Uriel. He comes up as the sun. Which, by the way, Archangel Sandalfin was unity. If you see that there, unity was the keyword. Um, now, Archangel Uriel is the sun. Happy times, joyous times, um, children, love, abundance. Um, and it's like a fruitful time, a happy outcome, brilliant new ideas. That's why I was talking about the spontaneity and the thought and the way that thought translates into a manifestation that becomes your reality. 
Um, so have more confidence in yourselves. If I haven't spoken to you about crystals before, yeah, I bring them up frequently, but I know there's a lot of new people that are tuning in. The one that I meditated with today, I actually did a meditative session with these crystal, um, this selenite crystal bowls, and the sound that they emanate was just so immensely powerful. It was like I had, I had been transported to another space-time dimension really, really deep. I even started choking. Um, this crystal right here is a citrine, and this is a manifesting stone. So this is the energy with which I put forward the video today, and I'm sending to you all, all of you beacons of angelic light. So radiate, shine brighter, don't be consumed by the darkness. You're a beacon of angelic light. Spread that light like a wildfire, a violet flame. And, you know, even if it's just a smile, it's contagious, guys. So definitely, you know, do your part. It, it's like a little matchstick that ignited all of the other matchsticks. And all of a sudden, here we have it. So with that, guys, I'm going to close out the week. Um, forgive me for not having factored it into my schedule last week um, but definitely stay tuned I'll have another video for you guys next week too and if you haven't already done it click subscribe that way you get notified like share comment let me know about your experiences get back into your creativity you know write journal I can't encourage you enough especially now with mercury gone direct it's a time it is the time it's now so mwah, I love you all so very much love yourselves and love everyone around you